A lot has been said about forward shaft lean. What does that mean? That means that I'm going to have more shaft lean at impact than I have at address. So right now I have approximately 87 degrees or 3 degrees of shaft lean forward, but at impact I now have 80 or 10 degrees of shaft lean, forward shaft lean. Notice my weight has shifted into my left side and my head has stayed pretty much in the same place. So there's address and there is impact with forward shaft lean. What's good about that is that the club has not caught up with the left arm yet. That will happen two more clicks past impact where the left arm and the shaft of the club line up on the left leg or the front leg. And that's what you need to keep the ball from going left and now the arms and hands rotate and extend through the ball. So how do you get forward shaft lean? There's two ways I'm going to talk about. Number one is you have to use your lower body. Through the traction in the ground, through your feet, and then through your knees, the left knee pulls and the right knee pushes. Now this is mainly a lateral motion in the first part of the downswing. You'll see there is some rotation in my hips and shoulders, but the main move is it's lateral to my left foot. So my weight has already shifted. Now my body is going to rotate and I am still holding this angle between my left arm and the shaft of the club. See that's 103 degrees. At this point I had even more. I had probably 70 degrees. So I've lost a little bit of the angle from that position I'm in now to coming down a little further. But I've still retained quite a bit of angle coming into this ball. The only way I'm able to do that is through proper leg work. So my knees have shifted my weight to my front foot through the traction in the ground. Now when I get into this position or where the shaft's about parallel to the ground, it's now time to use my hands and wrists to create speed in the club head. And as I get to impact, there is a pretty textbook position at impact with forward shaft lean. The second way to get forward shaft lean or better geometry at impact is simply to swing through the ball and not at the ball. I could say release through the ball, not at the ball. So here I am at the top of my swing and when I come down to where impact would be with an imaginary ball Notice that my right arm is not straight yet, and I also have angle in the back of my right hand and wrist. So I have not expelled all the energy out of that right arm and hand as I'm throwing that club head through the ball. That right arm and hand is going to straighten, and there's going to be some rotation in it as well as I release to this bag. So I want maximum speed to be right here where this bag is or about two feet in front of the ball. That's swinging through the ball. The ball gets in the way of that motion. If you can imagine that you're releasing through the ball to an imaginary bag about two feet in front of it, that will help you not to release early, have more angles coming into the ball, and that will help you get forward shaft lean which is a good thing at impact. Look at this picture and it looks just like the one we looked at before. Notice the club head is not caught up to my left arm yet and then two clicks past impact there it is in a pretty straight line as I'm releasing through to the bag. Here's my sister Lori demonstrating the same thing. Here she is set up. She's coming back down, doesn't have quite as much angle as I did, but notice this position at impact. The hands are further forward. If you do that, the club face will have a tendency to be a little open, so you're going to have to rotate your arms and hands to square that face. But notice as Lori goes through, she's releasing to the bag. And this is that point where both arms are straight and the butt of the club is pointing right back at the center of the chest. 
I hope this tip helps, and for more information, visit LarryRinker.com.